How you doing guys? This is Hybrid Still. Welcome to Out of Ore, a brand new sandbox mining game that shadows everything we have ever played ever when it comes to a sandbox mining game. To put this into perspective of like when we say it overshadows everything is that everything you can see we can go to. We can mine anywhere. So I decided this has got to be sort of like a decent fit to the channel because, you know, part of this channel was built on Gold Rush. And I like Gold Rush, and Gold Rush was a pretty cool game. But how about a little bit more of a sort of realistic y sort of mining simulation game? So here we go. I need a loan. So apparently, we've got all these loans we are now pre approved for up to $20 million. That's amazing. $42 million. Jeebus, they really just want to give me all their money, don't they? But that is £714,000 a day. We, I can't afford that. I can't even afford 600 quid, and I've only got 600 quid. Right. Okay, so I, de I definitely need to take out a loan. I'm thinking... I'm just going to take out a massive loan and see how the game treats us. Because we can. And I'm thinking maybe like a million dollar loan actually shouldn't be that bad. But maybe a two million dollar loan will be alright as well. How much is a two million dollar loan? Where's the two? 51 grand a day. 40 days worth of loan. We could probably do that. And I, you know, we'll take that. Two million dollars? Confirm. All right, cool. So I took a little bit more than Donald Trump. Fantastic. So I've got to go to the vehicle store and buy a loader. A loader. Ooh, I get to choose a Chariton or an Averick or an Arvik, sorry. I don't know any, I don't know these brands. Okay, well, I'm going to take, I want a big one. And that's a 501. No, I don't, we don't need anything that big. I, I say a, a 300 would be alright. That's 246 grand. We'll take that. That's fine. Confirm. What the... S Hello? Aha! There's my loader. Aren't you a fine piece of machinery? Enter the loader and start it up. Okie dokie, boss. Alright, camera. Uh, C. Ah, uh -huh, yes, it is. Okay, so... I had a look into the um, diagram of all your directions, and if you press space, you can change the cat. So if you if you're locking into the camera, you can just wibble it around with like being in, like cab mode. If you push space, you're in tool mode. The worst part about it is tools are directed by the mouse, so it's a little bit weird. But you know we'll we'll sort of get used to it, I suppose. Okay, now we've got to dig some ore. So let's go and dig some more. Got to say, so far, fairly impressed. Now we've just got to work on fluidity. Right. So this is our obviously training ground. Let me just line this up. So push space, bring down the bucket, tilt it all the way down. All right. Now we're right up against the floor. So if we make a dent anywhere, it's because the floor isn't even. Gotcha. So all this is ore, apparently. So push space, drag the bucket back, shuffle it around a bit, and lift. Because obviously we're lifting stuff so it doesn't fall out. And then reverse. Um, I think the Cheritons are really, This is a really, really responsive front loader. This is amazing. All right, okay, so we just got to dip it in here. So we put, what's brake? Ah, okay. Parking brake, yeah. Okay. I think we actually need to go backwards. Um, Alright, let's go back a bit. And there we go. Push space again. Unlocks my camera. Oh, yeah. There we go. And we just made $14,000. Wow. Okay. So that loan's going to be really easy to pay back then. Fantastic. All right, well, it's still telling me I need to do some ore stuff, so I suppose I better do some ore. All right, we'll bring this down, run our loader back, back, straight to the floor, and press start and go forward again. Real simple. Actually, you know what? I want to go down just a little bit, so I do. We're just going to dig into this a bit. All right, and shuffle it around. Oh, that looks like a good section. Right, cool. I think the tutorial might be a little bit broken. The the main issue with this game that I'm seeing is that obviously it's it's early development, right? Early works. 
which means things don't work quite as they should. Right, Q. So let's have a look at dump. Is there like a fuel container? There is a fuel container. So there's okay. So we can buy a truck. Oh, let's just buy a truck and see what happens. See, this is the plus side. Demo loan of two million dollars. I can just buy stuff. Now, obviously, I don't really want to take full advantage of this game, but the tutorial is broken. So let me just let's deliver fuel. I've got to take this. Oh, I'm changing this camera angle. Right. So where do I go to get fuel? I mean, how am I supposed to get fuel over there? That's like a really long way away. I mean, okay, it's 400 meters. Maybe if I run over there and have a look. look I, okay, I'm going to run over there and have a look of what's going on, right? If there's a fuel tanker thingy over here I've got to fill up from, I get it, okay? If there isn't, then I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. So I'm going to use the power of no physics to jump my ass across this level. Be back in a second. Where's the fuel? It says left. I can, what? Hold on. I can smooth out the ground. Oh my god, I can smooth out the ground. It's amazing. Oh, I can I can do terraforming. Okay, so it says deliver fuel, but I have, there's no delivery of fuel. There's no road. There's no nothing. I literally have to do this myself, but I don't know where I can get fuel. Where do you get fuel from? Hmm. Let me go back to base, which I assume is this way, and then we'll go from there. But I, going by the fact that there's no roads here, we're going to have to build the road. I mean, I've never done road building before, so that's new. i got to be honest, I'm liking the ideas. I'm liking the fact I can, like, dig stuff. I think there's a way of building a wash plant as well. We could have a look into that, but as it stands, there's no road. So in order to get a road up here, I'd have to come up like this section here and worm my way across this valley. That's going to be fun. Like actually building a road. I've, it, I've seen it done on like TV programs. Let's actually, let's give this a go. Uh, I'm, I'm going to build this. I want, um, I'm going to need like two of these. So let's build two of the transports. I need, we haven't done, we could do a sorting drum, maybe. I'm going to try a big hopper because that will help feed. And um, you know what, we've got the money. Let's just buy everything and see what happens. Core crusher, actually we'll leave that for another time. So I'm going to buy a transport. We're probably going to need another one of those. We'll go from there. Um, maybe another one more. I like it, it's fine. Right, come out of there. Inventory. Okay, how do we build? Right, is that straight? Is that going in? That looks like it's going to hit the hopper. That's good. Right, okay, cool. Next, we need to take this off and we need to put this in. Okay, let's wire this in. Well, I say wire. Okay, I have to... Okay. So it only works the wrong way around. So you have to build from backwards to forwards. Gotcha. I want to see if this works. I don't really want to do anything else. I like this building though, this is alright. <laughs> well that's not what I wanted to build, but fair enough. Hopper. Okay, so that's my hopper attached to this. Now I've got to go around, because I've just blocked myself off. Okay, so we've got ourselves a little bit of ore. Now to make it up my little hill. I can't I can't get up there. Damn it. Um Pooh Stinkies. I think then. I gotta build a conveyor belt, haven't I? Damn. Right, okay. Um, let's get out of this. So, I've got to try and do something with this. That'll do. I'm just going to see if this works. If it does, I don't think we made any money. Oh, there, there we go. We made five and a half grand. Not bad. Right, let's try that again, shall we? This time, a little bit more constructive. We made 13 grand. So, that's not bad. Okay, I need to refine my strategy on how to put stuff up onto there. But, yeah, apart from that, I mean, wash plant is actually not too bad, is it? I suppose an excavator would be probably a little bit easier, maybe? And we could try that. The thing is, is at the moment, all the while this game is a little bit early access, it's probably best just to use this as an experimental game. I like the idea of the game, and I like the fact that the scope on it is absolutely massive, but some things really do need to be fixed, like how to deliver fuel. Uh, that would be a really good start. I, I'd really enjoy the fact if I could actually learn how to do that. Anyways, let's have a look at an excavator. We've got money. You know what, I just want to buy 500. Screw it. We're going to go big. Yeah, this is this is trial and error anyway. It's good. Ah ha ha ha. The big boy. Let's go. Right, I need to change this camera because this is like monstrous. So this is the 500 excavator. This thing is massive. Let's go. So technically, I should be able to just shovel dirt straight into the hopper using this. I'm probably going to balls this up a little bit because this is so big. But hey, it's all good. 
But it's going to be a laugh, though, isn't it? You have made nothing. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's been fun. But yeah, so I probably will follow the development of this one. Like, it would be alright to just see this actually work better. You know? A couple of little things need to be, like, ironed out, redone it. Like, movement-wise, it's not too bad, though. Like, digging what I could see this as being sort of like a decent mining game. The downside is obviously tutorial. Being able to do, like, some of the basics is not covered. Because I think the tutorial is a little bit broken. But apart from that, it's not bad. Need to build a better plot, like a, a better thingy though, but apart from that, I'm all good with this. Alright, give me a sec. So obviously this was just like a little trial to find out what the game's actually like and how it actually behaves. I like this though. I mean, building a little wash plant to actually be able to do this sort of thing is cool. I'm not sure about this. I mean, I suppose the sorting, I suppose if what, what we could do is just get rid of one of these quickly and then see if that works. So if we go into deconstruct mode and then break that one. Aha! Battery, motor, settings. Alright, cool. Um, let's give this a shot then, shall we? I don't care what we put in it, as long as what we put in it is good. Well, it went in. We don't know what's come out. We made five and a half grand from doing it. That's pretty cool! I like it. I really do. So, I can see myself actually getting into this. The downside, obviously, at the moment, lack of tutorial. It's early access. There are certain, like, giveaway things that we have to pay attention to as well. Let me just, um... Let me just turn this off for a sec. No, I'll go from there. How will he sort it? 12 tons. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. So, there's a couple of other, like, give giveaways you can see in the valley as well. Um... So, ore is normally just sort of in the ground, obviously. Um, I'm hoping that there's some sort of, like, ore-finding tool and stuff later on, because if not, it's going to be like, hey, I'm just going to drill and be happy. Because I know you can drill. I watched Dre's video. He was he was quite happy that you are able to drill there as well. There seems to be sort of little deposits around. This is, like, bedrock where I am now, so underneath is going to be, like, diggable soil. Then we've got this bit over here, which is coal. I'm pretty sure he, did, he dug that out as coal. And you see this like dark and vein, if you look at the light colour, if you look at the light colour, and then look at the dark colour, like this vein of coal looks like it stretches all the way down here. And obviously coal's not going to be like worth a massive amount, but you can see where it actually finishes and so on. Now obviously with some of the missions that we can do, sort of, uh, you have to build roads and stuff. So I would have to build a road from here to the other point over there. Obviously it's only 400 odd metres, but I'm going to have to build a sturdy road. Which means cutting across the whole of this using a road. I'm going to have to build a road. I can't just drive a truck across country. It ain't going to work. So I was looking through the actual uh, inventory of things that we, we've got on like vehicle wise. Um, obviously there's quite a lot here. So we've got bulldozers. So we're able to like, bull, like doze out a load of stuff. And then we've got like all the uh, excavator sections. We can build. Big, we can buy bigger teeth buckets. and grade, We can buy grading buckets which are good. And then, as you go through some of the other tools that we've got here, we've got the ability to like do dump trucking as well, so we can bring gravel out to wherever and put it down. Um, what was the other thing I saw that was pretty interesting? It was this. A, a, it's, it's known as an excavator, but it's actually a road grader. So when building roads you can grade your road hopefully i'll come back in a couple of weeks time maybe i'll keep an eye out on steam to make sure there's an update and stuff but i'm gonna be honest i'm fairly impressed by this like straight away even though, even though this is an early build obviously because it's well it's early but literally everywhere you see you can go to and i'm pretty impressed by this so i'll probably end up starting a new game um hopefully like some of the i'll put a, a little bit of feedback in like a review section on steam just you know talking about the like the broken tutorial but i'm liking the open wilderness i'm liking the fact that everywhere i go i could literally just go off and create a new mine because the building parts of this game is quite ingenious as well literally if you've got it you can build it so i'll show you that as well so let's buy 10 concrete floor buy some wooden walls and i don't know buy a window 
and some steel roof. There we go, so I bought some stuff. So what I can do is I can go into this bit and I can build my, f I can buy my floor. There we go, so I've got a little shower. Yay me, but I mean, it's crap. You get the gist, there's, there's a lot you can do in this and you can customize it all out and stuff. So when it comes to the actual like hopper, we can put a little roof on top of the actual like, um, the actual things as well. So we can actually build on top of the actual um, thing, which I suppose could help like making sure that you're getting all your dirt in as well. So you could have it so you could build a back section onto your hopper if you're using like bigger tools I suppose there you go so it just means that you could probably chuck in a little bit more dirt onto that and you can you're actually making it a more of a a bigger area for you to aim for so your dirt doesn't go skew with I like this I really do I'm hoping for more out of this I really am and I'm hoping that maybe there are people down in the comment section who are going to enjoy this as well i mean it's it's fairly cheap right now and if you if you're going to go off and buy it then you know you're supporting the developer into this sort of like new venture it's going to need a lot of work it really is but i can't wait until it goes a bit further down the line um i'm hoping next if, if we play this again you know a tutorial that might work that would be a good thing so uh, if you have liked this video don't forget to hit the like subscribe notification button below for all other updates i'll be back here with a brand new video live stream or whatever else i do on this channel until then i'm yeah, I'm looking forward to this. So thank you very much for kicking by. I'll see you later. I want to say peace out. Have fun. Enjoy everything you guys do. Ah, boom. Fist bump to you.